Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator 2015. It's 2016 now, but I don't think a new version has come out quite yet. So what are we doing here? Well, we're still kind of in tutorial mode, so we need to take a look and see what else is around here to get into. We also had four jobs come in while I was working on the last one. So we were working on a Reno Piccolo last time, and we got... Uh, this Royal Bianco, another Reno Piccolo, then a Maluk, and a Delray Custom. You can see from the red writing right here, the red coloring, that we don't have access to these two jobs here. So we can't get into the Maluk or the Delray Custom. Our current experience is at 140. So we're going to have to do some of these other odd jobs first presumably to build up XP. Now, when we get this XP, I'm not sure if we can take these jobs and then that spins the XP, and then we can't use it anymore, because I noticed something else when we come over here to the toolbox. Well, we've got upgrade points. Well, not they're not available right now, but once you get 1,000 XP, you get one upgrade point, and then you can use that on various upgrades right here. So the first one I'm really gonna be looking forward to is fast unbolting. So we're gonna to have to wait on that. And then let's see what else we might get into. Um, been a little bit of frame rate jerkiness, but I'm still trying to get back into this. It's been a little bit since I've been in this game. Okay, so this is the same upgrades menu. And then how about over here, nothing. It looks like things that we can interact with get highlighted toolbox okay same thing there that's for upgrades we can't use the tire thing which is really odd it's the balancer how about over here nothing nothing parking oh well that's interesting can't put on those and then one thing also that i noticed is that we've got this repair table and there was a tutorial available for it but I've skipped through that, uh, so we'll see. So apparently we can bring some parts over that are 40% or greater and attempt to repair them, which would be kind of cool. And then how about here? Exit, exit. What kind of exit is that? I'm kind of scared to. Garage customization. Oh, interesting. So one thing of note Kondrick pointed out that this garage floor is cleaner than most garage floors that he has seen. But these rely on upgrade points as well. I think, well, I, it's going to be a mix. So we're going to have to do upgrades to the look and feel of the garage just to make customers feel better about coming over here. But we also need to do tool upgrades and whatnot to make ourselves more efficient. So in terms of the exit, I don't know if that leaves the game or what. Um, do you want to try that with me? Let's, oh, interesting. Okay, so we've got, we can't scoot around here. Let's see, nope. So we've got an auction center, our garage, and the old factory test track. Okay, so We'll just go back to the garage. Okay, that's good to know. And then if we come over here, we can to upgrade garage with parking. Okay, so we can't go through there quite yet. That's fine. So we'll need to do a few more jobs really to get going. But let's let's come over here. Let's take a look at the old factory test track. Aha. Uh -huh. So a Apparently, we need to have some cars available to go drive them around. That's good to know. And then how about here? We need to buy parking first. Okay, so we've got roughly a plan of action. We need to get up to 9,000 XP, and that means that we can get parking, and then we can go buy cars at auction. Okay, so... That really leaves us just one thing to do, and that is start a new job. Since we did do a Reno Piccolo last time, it's, this, it's the same car, it's a different job, but uh, because it is the same car, we're going to try a different car. We're going to start on the Royal Bianco. We're going to take this job, 
Okay. And uh, yeah, so there we go. We're going to load this car up. And it says the timing gear needs replacing. Let's see while it loads up. And let's take a look at this car. Oh, I found something else. Uh, and it's this photo camera. So what we're going to do is take a photo. We're going to focus the car. There we go. And then there we go. We've got a screenshot. That's pretty cool. Okay, so this particular... Uh, let's go into the car and see... Oh, we got a new a new job. This one is the another Royal Bianco. Replace timing parts. Replace related timing parts. I'm guessing that's this one. So what we're gonna do is open the repair order with the O. Alright, so belt tensioner needs to be replaced, timing belt needs to be replaced, water pump needs to be replaced. We're going to be repairing parts with Oh, repair with parts exceeding minimum condition 66%. So far, we haven't spent any money on the job. We've got $23.91 in our account balance, so let's go. All right, belt tensioner, timing belt, and water pump I-4. Okay, so all of that is going to be in the, uh, in the hood, and we're currently in normal mode. So let's take a closer look. We need to get to the belt tensioner and timing belt and the water pump. All of that is over on this side. See timing belt cover. We've got a few parts in the way. Right, 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 right. So timing belt cover doesn't need to be replaced. Our faulty things here are the water pump. Let's see if we can get closer. Yeah, that's about the closest we can get. Serpentine belt requires pulling off the belt tensioner, which means that we can go into disassemble mode. All right. There we go. And let's take a look at our inventory. Ah, the belt tensioner is at 1%. We will not be able to repair that over in our repair center. So we're going to... Uh, you know what, we'll auction that off afterwards, but uh, let's see about getting the rest of these items off so we can fix them. Water pump, we still need to get the serpentine belt off, so let's do that. So serpentine belt is off, and then this serpentine belt is off, and then we can pull out the water pump. All right. And how about that one? Let's see. This serpentine belt is fine. 66%. Oh, that's right on the line. This water pump we won't be able to fix. So next up is the timing belt. So to get to the timing belt, we need to pull off the timing belt cover. So that means we need to pull off the crankshaft pulley. And the idler roller. Okay, and the timing belt cover, we can pull that off as well. We're going to, we can just hold down the left mouse click. Uh, last time, our last job we started, I thought we had to keep clicking and clicking and clicking. And the timing belt, we can pull that one off. And let's take a look. All right, so belt tensioner and timing belt and water pump all need to be replaced. So let's go over to our um, our computer and we'll order these parts and then we'll see where we are from there. So we're not in the Maluch parts shop. We're just going to go to this parts shop and we need to go with engine. And can we do a search water pump? So far, we haven't spent anything on, can, can we just search, or do we have to click that? Hmm, okay, so maybe search doesn't work so well. Water pump I-4, that's what we're looking for, and maybe it's down here, uh, we'll have to get, 
Uh, let's see, water pump, water pump, I4 right here. Right, that should be the one we want. Okay, let's take a look at our inventory again. So we're gonna need a timing belt like this. All right, so let's go back here and we'll go grab one of those timing belts, $120. These are one of the more expensive parts to replace in your regular car as well. So there we go, we got that. And then a belt tensioner. And we'll go up here to the B's and see if we can find that. Close, okay, there's only one to choose, so there we go. We're going to purchase that. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, we have all the parts we need to fix this car and we're at about uh, a little uh, right around the 10 minute mark so what we're going to do is say thank you very much for watching this one join me next time as we put this car back together and then go take it on a test drive perhaps how about that we'll see if we can go do that for now i don't know and i certainly can't take the car out in this condition so hopefully you enjoyed if you did a like is always appreciated but again thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.